1940s. It was built for the military, and they were building different military equipment. I don't know exactly, but the building was put together very stout because of that. Uh, and we are doing a seismic upgrade on the building, and then we're going to turn it into offices and shops and restaurants and so on. In our count, it came out that we were around 50,000 dowels where we had 50,000 holes to drill in the existing building to accept the reinforcing we were putting in. Immediate concern was the exposure of silica dust to the men and the ergonomics of drilling, how you drill, your position when you're drilling and worried about strains, muscle, damage, um, and so on. Okay, this, this system starts off with two TE-50 Hilti drills. They have a vacuum, a, a Hilti vacuum with a hose with an apparatus right here that actually surrounds the bit. And this bit is hollow. And if you looked at the end of the bit, you would see holes where when it's crushing the concrete, it's sucking it down the bit, in through the hose to the vacuum so that there's no silica dust at all exposed. Anytime you're working around existing concrete, you have to worry about silica dust. Uh, there's many ways to take care of it. There's respirators, there's dust masks, and so on, but it, that's a human factor where the men have to learn how to use them, and they have to use them all the time. And we wanted to take that equation out of there and try to approach it to where we didn't have any of the dust available for the men to breathe. My safety director came to me and said, hey, we've got this guy's in He's working on these drilling rigs that um, started out for ergonomics that look like they might work for our project. So we went down and we, this was probably a year and a half ago, we went down and we looked at the rigs, we used them, and found out that it was a rig that would definitely help us with uh, making sure that, number one, we avoided strains and sprains and so on, but also that the possibility of, uh, of the silica dust being contained in the, in the vacuum system of it. And when we started talking to Hilti, we realized that Hilti had a system where w they could contain it and we wouldn't be exposed to the silica dust at all, and that was through the vacuum of through the vacuum through the bit, the concrete bit that was doing the drilling actually sucked the dust through the bit into, uh, vac into the vacuum cleaner bag. We did some testing. We had uh, hygienists come out and put some pumps on the guys who were using the rigs and everything was below any standard that uh, we needed to worry about. And all the monitoring results came in lower than required for any respirators. But on McCarthy's benefit, or our behalf, we had all our guys fit tested, trained for the use of respirators, and made all respirators available. And just for a precaution, it was, if you're gonna be in there creating or working where there's dust, wear a particle mask, just to eliminate any chance of it. You'd have to hand a man a drill, and another man a vacuum cleaner, and one guy holds the vacuum cleaner against the hole while the other man's drilling. Not The silica dust is not completely contained. It's going to get away because it's a human error. You're holding it here, holding it there. You're not going to collect it all. And I've actually witnessed saw cutting being done where you couldn't even see the man operating the saw with that much silica dust in the air. You don't see that anymore. They've gone from standing there with hoses to wet it down as they cut to using wet cut saws to everything being to the systems they are now to just eliminate it all. With the equipment and the planning and everything we did for this equipment, I think in the long run our cost benefit was the fact we didn't have injuries, 
we didn't have to worry about strange or anybody going to the hospital or a lost time accident or anything like that. And to me, that's the benefit we had financially was the fact that we were able to keep everybody safe. Anyway, the men named their own machines. This is Gertrude and this is Bill and this is Mary and whatever. And they had these machines and they protected their machines. They took care of the machines and, and they really appreciated the fact that we were using these and the reason we were using them. Well, I, you know, silica is, is harmful and it can kill you. And I think with this system with between the drill bits, the, the vacuums and the drills, that system together, it allows you as a worker not to be exposed to it at all. I mean, as construction workers, you're exposed to so many different uh, hazards, you know, and, and, and trying to eliminate one of the bigger ones on a, on a, on a, a project like this was, was big for a lot of us to, to be able to eliminate that hazard and allow us to not have to worry about a long-term effect of silica. This has changed right here and we're, we're right in the middle of it. So uh, McCarthy Building Companies has given me that opportunity and, I, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. One of the best things about this rig is that right there. That's the dude. That's our company's insignia. <laughs> I mean, this is where the industry is going as far as for drilling. His culture on safety, to me, is, is one of the best. And we don't take chances. We make sure that everything is set for safety before we start the job. Zero accidents, zero, zero, um, zero danger to the men for any silica dust fumes. That's one thing that we don't want them to get near, ingest anything. We want to make sure that the men have the worst, safest workplace that we can prepare for them.